Hello guys, this is Skylar1279 back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a review of Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube. Now, this game is a very challenging and fun game. Please go and play this game. It is amazing. Don't get an emulator, get disc. <laughs> um, this gameplay you see here is a uh, is a video of me doing gelato skip, but I missed it like two, three times, so... Uh, be patient. If you don't know what the gelato skip is, please go look it up on YouTube or just watch. Just watch here. Uh, it's a speedrunning thing where you skip the whole uh, world. So this game is a very challenging and fun game. Like I said at the start, this uh, this is fun. This is the definition of fun. You see at the start, well, this game is sort of different from other Mario games because it had has cutscenes and stuff. But uh, this game is my favorite game of all time because of the nostalgia of playing it when I was a kid and stuff. Um, but this game has secrets and stuff. Uh, but at the start, you can see uh, Mario going on vacation to Isle Delfino, and then uh, they they land, and then they see goop everywhere, and then uh, Mario finds Flood, which is a he or a her, and then she shoots like a. Uh, like water, and then you can like hover for a short period period of time, or like shoot enemies with the water, and it's a it's a really good good mechanic, and um, uh, there's many worlds in the game, such as Bianco, um, Rico Rico Harbor, um, Pianta Village, Pena Park, Noki Bay, Serena Beach. And a few others. And ev in every word, there's a secret shine, which pretty much you have to do a thing to get to the secret shine. And then you have to do like this platforming thing without flood, which is really hard. Not, I'm not even joking. It's so hard to do. So, uh, if you haven't played this game, go get it. Like, it's you have to come into the mindset. Like playing this game, you have to come into the mindset to like work hard. Because this game is so challenging to do. There are eight levels in the in one world. In the eighth one, you don't have to do because you only have to do seven. And at the seventh one, there's always a Shadow Mario mission. Shadow Mario is a character introduced in this game. And he is Baby Bowser. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, it's not really a spoiler alert because there's, it's not really a story. But uh, Baby Bowser... Well, at, every, at every seven star, you have to shoot... Uh, uh, Sh Shao Mario with enough water to like get him down, and then it gives you a shine sprite. Shine sprites are things you collect in every world, and then that like does something to uh, something in the world. <laughs> I don't really know, but um, th I speedrun this game personally, and I'm I learned uh, Bianco to Rico, and it is a very fun speed game. If you don't know what speedrunning is, please go and watch a speedrun. If you like speedrunning, please do that. Because this game is so fun to do. And it's a really hard speed game. I don't recommend it for anyone starting out. But I'm starting out. So whatever. <laughs> I just really wanted to speedrun this game. And, I, and I'm and i getting pretty good at it. Well as you can see here. I suck at gelato skip. But <laughs> hey. Um, there's also many skips in this game. Like Yoshi skip. And a ton of strategies you have to do to speedrun this game. And sorry for the poor quality on the, on the TV. Because uh, I'm just doing. I'm a one man show on an iPhone. So not that good of a quality, but I think this is a pretty good thing. I'm using Cute Cut Pro right now, which is a really good app. So if you want to get like good iPhone gameplay and stuff, you're about to see me do a lot of stuff up here. If you want to have good gameplay and stuff, well not gameplay, but good editing, get Cute Cut Pro. So this has been a review of Super Mario Sunshine with Scour1279. This is Scour1279, signing out.